Don't you guys just love to see an older womanist on her last leg with no stable family or anyone to finish the rest of her life with? I don't know about you guys, but I love to see these successful older women learn that actions have consequences, and there is nothing better than to see the old miserable old ex dex that is upset with herself and the world. Many of you watching this video right now must be saying to yourselves, how can you be so cold and heartless? Well, it seems like you guys do not have a long memory. Have you forgotten that these XXs were saying to delete all men and delete them again? Have you forgotten how they made us out to be metaphiles, grapists, monsters, a menace to society, perverts, morons, pigs, misogynists, and sexual predators? Have you forgotten that they fired us from our jobs for being men? Have you forgotten that they lied on us and had us thrown in the gulag, falsely saying that we were graping our own kids? Have you forgotten they wouldn't hire us because we were a man? Have you forgotten they wanted to rename Father's Day as Special Person's Day? Did you forget they were failing young boys in school for being a male? Did you forget they used the Me Also movement to destroy men without any proof? Have you forgotten they called cops on us for walking out in public with our grandkids? Did you let your desire to bust a nut and find love make you forget all the BS that was done to men? I haven't, so why would I have any shred of sympathy for what happens to them by their own actions and decisions? You have to have ice water flowing through your veins and have a long memory. I don't want you to hate these individuals, but I want you to understand it's not our job to care or try to rescue them. Let them die alone. They made their bed, so let them lie in it alone. That's how I see it. As it relates to older successful women, they had decades to get a man to commit to them and settle down. But what did they do? They went and followed womanism and focused on their careers instead of selecting a mate and having kids. They got their backs blown out by Chad, Tyrone and their sugar daddy. They traveled to Jamaica to smoke the weed out and get their wet vice grip stretched out. And they gave their youth and best years to a corporation instead of a husband. They chose to do this and I believe they must learn a harsh lesson as a result of the life they chose to live. Now this video is part two of the first video talking about successful career women are struggling to get a man to marry them. So if you haven't watched that video, it will be linked in the description box and at the end screen. So we'll be continuing the article by The Clever. The title of this article is 15 Reasons Why Men Don't Want to Be With Successful Women. With that said, most successful women are older, so keep that in mind. Tap the like button for me, brothers. I'll cover the rest in another video if this video gets 400 likes. So if you want to see that, tap the like button. Alright, let's dive into the article. Reason number one why men don't want to be with successful women is because of the status quo to her and her successful friends. Successful women continually feel like they live in a society that is watching out to know who they get to settle down with. It is true, to some extent, but she has to draw the line and know where the fame and wealth game ends and the romance and a serious marriage begin. Most successful women hang around celebrities, other tycoons, and have friends in high-end social and financial areas. Such women would duck your calls when she realizes you are not at her level of income. It does not mean that they are not allowed to desire the stable financial lords in their society. On the contrary, they are encouraged to find them because then they would speak the same language. This doesn't make the hard-working, kind and affectionate police officer or chef less of a person. This type of woman could even hide you in her handbag just so you are not seen together in public. Gents, that's true. A lot of women will not want to be seen with a man that their friend group would see as less than. So they are, in a sense, forced to date men at the same level or above, so she can parlay them in her social circle. The thing is, which man wants a woman that's ashamed to be seen in public with him, hat in, and of itself is disrespectful, and any man who chooses to be with an older woman who doesn't introduce him to her friend group or is proud to be with him in public is a monkey simp. You can't convince me otherwise, I don't care how much money she has. Never take disrespect from a woman unless she's your female boss or the human resource office and you need the money. Besides that, if it's not work-related or a massive opportunity for which you have to take a little BS, then walk away. If there's money on the table, it's alright to take BS if you need or really want the money. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with shuffling and throwing away morals, but you do to you. I took BS from my previous female bosses and it paid off. Sometimes you have to glad hand and sell out to get to where you want to be. That's just how the world is. Reason number two why men don't want to be with successful women is because they are overly confident and have a high and mighty ego. A self-confident woman is attractive and better to be around than the one who always pities and doesn't believe in herself. How far into confidence should she dive into a relationship with a man? An overconfident woman can be intimidating to anyone in her social circle. This type of woman could make everything about them even if it's not. Some show signs of aggression and confrontation whenever their egos are pricked. 
They are the manipulative type that will not allow anyone to have their way. Which man wants such a time bomb in their life? Let me help you out with the figures. None. Gents, how many of you have been around a ball-busting, boots-wearing, strong and independent woman? Who wants to be around that every day? I know I don't. I remember when I was working, I had to walk on eggshells when I was around my female boss. I couldn't be a masculine man and really express myself, so I understand why no man would want that. My boss wasn't bad, and I didn't have many problems with her. All I'm saying is that you can't really be a man when you're around women like that. And if she's overly confident and has an ego, there's no way two masculine energy can coexist. So personally, I would stay far from women like that in terms of a relationship if I still dated. I'm the only one who should be loudmouth and egotistical in my house. Reason number three why men don't want to be with successful women is because they are not submissive. Some successful women in the society we live in today have read so many fiction stories and listened to so many empowerment stories that force them to become stronger in order to outdo the men in their lives. Many old-fashioned men feel that a woman should make a man feel like he found a good thing by submitting to him and taking care of her man. The last time I checked, even the holy book says so. Career women find it hard to submit to men today because they feel they should always have their guard held high no matter what. And what more needs to be said if the woman you're dating does not want to submit? Let's be honest with ourselves, no masculine man wants to be with a woman that constantly challenges him and does her own thing as if she was a man. We don't want to be with a man, and a woman who is not submissive is basically acting like a man, so I want no parts of that. And the fact that she's more likely to be an older woman. What benefit would there be in an equal partnership with someone who hit the wall? If she was young and a baddie, I would get it. But being in an equal partnership with an older woman is an L. It's obvious that being in an equal partnership will fail with the countless examples we've seen. I don't know men to do what they had to do to get some peace leave from a younger woman and that I understand because you're getting her at her best. But to take BS from an older woman, that's an L. Reason number four why men don't want to be with successful women is because of perfectionism and things must be done her way. A perfectionism trait exists in every successful woman, but at varying levels. Women with a Miss Perfect mentality are likely to stay single forever. You cannot expect a man to stay in your life when all you do is single out mistakes he's made and wants things done your way or not done at all, a common disorder associated with unhealthy perfectionism. When a man feels like there is so much restructuring he has to do to fit in a woman's life, then he loses interest. Men are often imperfect and would not be able to live freely around mighty Miss Perfect. He needs to fart without running to the toilet often or even to make noise when with his boys once in a while without worrying about neighbors or his wife being upset. Gents, this article lists everything we talk about in this space. I've known women to be perfectionists that always wanted things to go their way, and those women were single for most of their life. It's not just men, but nobody wants to be around a control freak that criticizes everything single thing you do that doesn't alight with how they see the world. So I agree I would not deal with a woman like that either. Then it's the constant complaining about every little thing you do that they don't like. Those people are not relationship material and that's where I stand on that point. People can have a hint of perfectionism and it works for them, but too much of it makes you an intolerable human being. Reason number five why men don't want to be with successful women is because they could be too educated. This type of successful woman could be a very intimidating attitude toward men. Regardless of her field of study, her level of education, as shown in her certificate, whether PhD, masters, or bachelors, would make her feel like she can't reason with uneducated men. Are all rich men learned? Must you be learned to be able to put food on a table? It is quite unfortunate that some educated women embrace uneducated men only to rub their academic status in their faces in a demeaning manner. Don't marry him if you will not respect him without an education, period. I kind of understand what they're saying, and to a degree, men who are not highly educated will feel intimidated talking to a woman with like a master's degree or a PhD, but always remember that they are a lot of educated fools in society that have no street smarts whatsoever. So for me, I don't get intimidated. I'll just listen if it's a topic I don't know anything about. And remember this too, success does not equate to being rich. I know you guys don't see it because of what success has been shown to be, especially on social media, but success in something means you're very good or competent in that thing. Being rich means you are successful in making and keeping money. That's basically it. A successful teacher that has pumped out many students that went to good high schools with high grades can be broke or living paycheck to paycheck. So the point I'm trying to make is never to assume success and rich are the same things. That said, dating older successful women that aren't on your program is an L, and we have enough information from this video and the previous one to prove that to you. 
share the video with someone who needs this message. Maybe he's considering bending the knee for an older woman and needs a good reality check. The link to our Cash App and PayPal is in the description box below if you want to support us and this message. And if you want to learn about the 5 reasons why successful career women are struggling to get a man to marry them, then click the video on the screen right now to watch part 1.